Candidates for the first congressional seat are making a final push for votes ahead of election day. State Representative Nancy Mace and Congressman Joe Cunningham met for a forum today to address voters. News 2's Riley Benson was there at today's forum. He joins us now with the very latest. It's the 11th hour for congressional candidates Nancy Mace and Joe Cunningham. Today's forum is expected to be the last time the two see each other. Each day the focus remains on building and protecting the low country. Candidates covering topics ranging from the economy to health care and more. South Carolina's first congressional district is really built on the backs of small businesses. And we've got to continue to have a low tax policy, pro-business, pro-growth policy. Another question on the minds of those in attendance, COVID-19 relief. As more rounds of PPP funding, some money for local communities who are, who are stretched in right now. Cunningham and Mace taking the chance for a final opportunity to earn a vote. Our economy, health care, infrastructure, offshore drilling, uh, racial and social issues, women's issues, these are all things that I've worked on. I told the constituents in the low country that I would fight like hell to pass a bill banning offshore drilling. And that's exactly what I did. And while the two disagree on many things, they both agree the first district comes first. If you look at our record, putting low country every party is something we live by every single day. And again, we've taken some votes that have upset people in our own party. But it's about putting our, our area, our neck of the woods first before anything else. Both are eager to begin work in the low country as soon as possible. Start rebuilding our communities in our country now. Let's not wait until election. Let's do it now. And Cunningham says the people have a responsibility to choose the direction of the low country. Get out and vote, whether it be vote early, vote in person, uh, no matter which candidate you vote for. We have much more on the policies of these two candidates over on CountOn2.com. Just check under your local election headquarters tab. In downtown Charleston, Riley Benson, CountOn2.